Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here and you're interested in hair loss, hair loss treatments, hair systems, please do give this channel a like and subscribe. Today we're talking about real life stories of guys who experienced hair loss in their 20s. Now I'm gonna be showing you some screen grabs that I took from the research that I did watching videos on YouTube of people who had gone through hair loss, men who had gone through hair loss, and how they struggled with it. So these comments that I screen grabbed are the most liked comments. So it shows there's a lot of common ground with what these people are feeling and going through. So this is the first one. This is the most liked one that I came across. So losing my hair as a young man was probably the most soul crushing experience I've ever dealt with. Now that is incredibly powerful and it really, really resonates. I think it's always important to, I mean, in my, in my opinion, your 20s are one of the most important decades of your life. It's effectively your first decade of being an adult and getting out into the real world and dealing with real world things. That means getting a job, holding down a job, finding a relationship, attracting a long-term mate, and so on and so forth. I think your 20s is also a decade where you need to be quite confident and assertive as well, because that's when you're trying to make your mark on the world. That is when you're trying to attract women into your life. That is when you're trying to work your way up the career ladder. Heck, you might even be looking to get onto the property ladder, depending on where you live. But it's a really important decade where you need to really start getting your SHIT together, basically. And as this guy said, going through something that's completely soul destroying during the time of your life where it's really important to be trying to move forward is a really difficult thing to deal with. Another comment that I saw is a 20 year old who's been watching their hair disappear since I was 17. I honestly forget that this isn't a problem exclusive to me. That's so true. After a while, I started to feel less than or defective. I still haven't come to terms with what's happening to me, but I do know that no one deserves to feel this way. This gentleman here, he's talking almost as if he's experienced a very close family or friend bereavement. Losing your hair at such a young age can send a lot of guys and females into an identity crisis because especially at that age your appearance is so much a part of who you are and at that age as well you're in the minority if you're losing your hair at that age you are in the mi minority and it's also the most important time to be going out with your friends clubbing going to bars meeting new people it can be very very hard to do that when you've lost a sense of who you are and I can think of the hundreds and or even thousands of people watching this video who are going to be nodding their heads behind the computer screen being like, yes, I exactly went through this. And one last person here said, so proud of you for having the courage to share your story. Hair loss isn't an easy topic to talk about. It can be very awkward and upsetting for many people. It absolutely can. I've seen guys in tears, myself included, at points where my hair loss was so, so bad. So I think, guys, you have two options here. One, you can own it. You can own the hair loss, you can shave your head, and you can go about your day and be like, I'm a bald guy just like millions of other people in the world. The other option is taking action and doing something about it. That's something that I did after experiencing hair loss for so long. My self-esteem was in the gutter and I said, no, I'm not gonna tolerate this anymore. I want my identity back, I want my appearance back, I want my confidence back. If you want to take that route and you want to do something about it, my channel is about hair systems or toupees, or whatever you want to call them, and there's literally millions of people who have taken that route to basically get their hair back and get their self-esteem back. There's of course other options as well. There is the medical route, there is the medication option. It does come with side effects. I've explained this a lot in my previous videos. You can also get a hair transplant. The problem is if you get a hair transplant too early, you will continue losing more hair on the top of your head if you're not fully bald by that point. So that's really, really important to consider. There's also SMP, which I spoke about a couple of weeks ago, 
And if you stick around to the end of this video, you can watch my video where I do a comparison between SMP and hair systems so you can make your own decision. But there you go, guys. You've got two options there. You can just shave it all off and just own it, or you can take some action and do something about it. There's no right or wrong here, guys. It's about what feels right for you and what's going to work for you. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. As promised, that SMP versus hair system video is going to pop up on the screen right now. And I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Take care and I'll speak to you very soon.